Well, the world's largest thermal solar plant opened today just across the state line near Prim. Action News reporter Jackie Heinrich was there and joins us now in studio with more on some amazing technology. Jackie. That's right, Steve. It's certainly the biggest of its kind, but in many ways, it's the first of its kind. And the large scale thermal solar model is something of a template for the rest of the world. And other countries have already come knocking, wanting to see how we did it. Take a look. If you're not sure what you're looking at from a distance, you can mistake it for a lake. But it's actually thousands of mirrors sitting in a dry lake bed, soaking up the sun for solar power. The site is four times the size of Central Park and takes up 3,500 acres. As of the grand opening on Thursday, Ivanpah is the world's largest thermal solar plant. We're very proud of the accomplishment to do something on this scale with solar. A lot of different states here in the United States are expressing interest because of the, the credits that they get. Everybody's trying to become more kind of carbon friendly. These huge mirrors are called heliostats. Each of them is the size of a garage door. And there are enough of them here to replace all the mirrors in the Empire State Building 54 times. So why take up so much space to harvest solar when you can just slap one of these panels on your house? Ivanpah actually stores the energy, making it available for later use. It's a breakthrough in the green energy industry. Think about fossil fuels. You have to also consider all the work that goes into exploration, extraction, refinement, transportation, and then delivery to a power plant before you can produce the energy. Here at Ivanpah, you have all that taking place in one location. More than 173,000 mirrors heat up water in towers like this one. It makes steam, which then moves the turbines, providing power to 140,000 homes. And since fossil fuels have a limited future, it's another way green energy experts are finding ways to keep the lights on. The plant offsets greenhouse gas emissions from 72,000 cars each year. That's equal to planting 387 million trees. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Jackie Heinrich, Channel 13 Action News. <laughs>